Hello guys, this is Anish Vijay with the 5000 subscribers special. So, I'll be giving away this chicken rig. Um, it'll be free in the description and how to use it will be in the link below. And yeah, um, and also I'll be giving away a horse rig uh, to 5 lucky winners. All the information will be in the description, just follow it. And if you don't win, you can always buy it on Turbo Squid. And once I reach my goal, of buying a new computer it will be released free uh, at least I hope that's my plan <laughs> so yeah let's uh, so you can yeah, to use this rig just go in the description download it and just check the link out on how to use it so yeah so this is the horse rig uh, oh yeah first install installation so you will download these two folders or just one or whatever Get into a new finder, type in Cinema 4D R13, which is the version I have. Go into that folder, library, browser, and just drag in the two LIB 4D folders. And if you don't have, if you didn't find it, just go into your applications and max on, max on, max on, max on, and it should be in here. So, yeah. Okay, that's the installation. Um, so, now for the horse. So let me just get show you how it looks with the run cycle so this is the C motion that comes with it it's pretty slow because of my frame rate but yeah you can see the dy IK dynamics on the tail and head bobbing and everything and the feet adapt to the ground so yeah let's get to the features now um, so you can see immediately the feet Pretty cool new feature where when I move like this, the feet are down to the ground as well. Before it was only forward and back, but now it's both ways. And to rotate, you just use the, yeah, it rotates the pole as well. The tail has IQ dynamics, so yeah. The good thing about this is you don't have to off the dynamics and then move your rig and then re on the, uh, the dynamics. Uh, like in cloth tags, cloth tags are really, really annoying to work with, so I used IQ Dynamics. Um, so, next, let's just show you the body, how it works. And you can like rotate this and do that. Yeah. So next is the head. So, I'm not gonna be using this bend too much, it looks a little weird, but it doesn't look too bad so um, but anyway you can rotate the head I saw that horses that they, they don't really rotate their neck so I just made it so that they rotate the head like that and then you can always use the uh, eye controller to look like like this, like this direction so yeah <laughs> um, yeah and that's about it for the body movements. You can select this and open the mouth. Same for the ears. And yeah. Okay, next is the. Let me. Oh, the ends. Time is super Uh, these are the skins. So we have black horse, uh, brown chestnut, dark gray skeleton. I really like the white horse, I'm gonna be using that one. <laughs> Zombie is really nice as well. And a mule and a donkey. You can see the ears have changed, so there's an extra thing here and yeah. Uh, so let's get back to my favorite horse right there. Oh no, you can't see the skins otherwise. So I'm gonna use this guy. Uh, you can use white dots, white field, white black dots. And then we have the other features. So we have this rope, which is not 2D, it is 3D with some dynamics. As you can see, very cool. I had a lot of problems doing this uh, dynamics on the on the ropes. Um, you can see in my time lapse. I'll I'll be uploading it. It's about 20 hours of work in this rig. So now you know why it's difficult for me to give away these rigs because it's just a lot of work and I'm really working hard for that computer um, so yeah 
really nice ropes. I, I really like the ropes, how it turned out. Uh, and also you can see the bridle is also 3D and we have the saddle where we have this. I, I really like to pay attention to detail. Just one of those, like it's pretty fun, like just smoothening the edges. I mean, what the hell am I saying? Um, like fine tuning the animation. I don't know why I find that fun, but yeah. Uh, the chest is also, you can see it's 3D, you can open it. And yeah, um, we have the visual selector. And yeah. I almost forgot, oh my god, you, you can move, oh, I can move this, like that, and you can have the eyes here, both the eyes move this one, then the right, the right eye moves with this, left eye moves with this, it's lagging because of the announced open GL, um, and this one is to blink the right eye, like that, oh, we normally would use this one because it, it controls both. Like so. And then. Oh. Then we have. Make him angry. Make him sad. And we have scaling both the eyes. And then. Uh, what is this? Yeah. And. Yeah. Now eight. Yeah. One more other small feature when it's running or walking, you can move the goals and poles. So, like, say you think it's out of position somewhere, you can keyframe it lower, or you can add a limp or something if you like with the small keyframe adjustments and stuff. And yeah. So that's about it for my 5000 subscriber special. Uh, thank you for everything. Uh, it's really nice how you guys support me and everything. It's got a few haters, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> because I don't sell, I kind of sell my rigs. So <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't understand. Because I used to be one of you guys, like, I'm not understanding why people don't. Uh, give the rigs free, but now I understand that it's a lot of hard work, so try to understand. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out my time lapse on how I met in the horse rig. Um, and yeah, bye.